welcome to second part of the basic watercolor technique. In this video, I will give you a demo about how to use two techniques that we have learned in the previous video. Here I'm using my pad artwork, I've already made this. If you want to use this artwork, you can post the video and you can do the lining in your watercolor paper first. Or you can go to my Etsy website to get the downloadable lining artwork of this painting. Now let's start. First I will paint the sky. When you want to paint the sky, we usually use the wet on wet technique. Wet the paper with clean water. After that, you can choose the color of the sky that you want. In this video, I will create a sunset sky with a little bit of blue color on the sky and some orange and a light red that reflected on the clouds. Remember when you using watercolor for painting, we have to make layers and layers of color. So, start with light color and make sure before you make another layer, previous layer has to be dry or else you will ruin the first layer that you have made. For the second layer, I try to add more color on the blue sky and the shadow in the bottom parts of the clouds, so it will be more vibrant and more saturated. Next, we will use the wet on wet technique on the mountain. And after that, let's paint the color. Here, I'm painting with the light color first. And then I add some green color. While waiting for the mountain dry, I continue to paint the flower field. Here we still using the wet on wet technique, so use the clean water to wet the paper first. After that, put the first layer of green color. After put the green color on the flower field, I put the brown color. This is the first base of the brown color for the ground. After the mountain dry, let's get back onto it. Here I'm using brown color to add more depth. And after putting the second layer of the mountain, and while waiting the flower field dry, I go back to the sky again. Here I'm putting the third layer to get more depth on it. I'm adding some violet as a shade. Now, 
let's go back to the flower field. I'm adding brown color on the ground to make some shadow on it. While waiting for the ground dry enough, I go back to my sky again and I think it's quite vibrant. So I'm doing some lifting technique again because I think it's too much for the violet color on the clouds. After doing the lifting technique, I add orange color on the top part of the clouds. Because it's a sunset sky, so the color of the clouds must have some orange color on it. And also I add more blue on the sky again because I think it's not enough for me. And after that, I'm taking a break first while waiting the paper dry. And this is the result when the paper has already dried. I already like the color of the sky, it's already fiber enough for me. But the mountain itself is quite flat, so I decided to paint more brown color on the mountain. decided to color the girl first. I forgot to record the painting process of the dress. Basically, I used on dry technique on the dress, one tone color, just the violet. And here I'm painting the hair and it's also using the wet on dry technique because the hair is to be detailed enough. I created some layers on it. The first color that I create by using yellow ochre. After the first layer dried, I add darker color. for the demo for now. I hope you can learn more from my video and can try to make this piece of artwork by yourself. Don't forget to practice and practice. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. See you on the next video. Bye!